Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here once again. A couple of weeks ago, I posted about a Halloween project I wanted to build. Basically, I wanted to be able to hand out candy to kids without them getting too close to me. And maybe it's because the CDC and the WHO are still recommending we maintain social distancing. Maybe it's just because kids are sticky and grabby. But I wanted to be able to hand out candy and keep a distance. So I came up with this. I had the concept earlier this year, started working on it about two weeks ago during the first post, and was actually able to pretty much complete the thing. So here's how I did it. First, I used a pair of ESP32s. One actually our Skella board. There might be a couple left if you want to grab one. Uh, so on the kid's end, I've got a big red button with an ESP32 here. Um, I didn't actually build this tool just for this. We have them sitting around here. I happen to have another one here, holes drilled in them for previous big red button projects. Now on the robot side, I've got the second ESP32 along with a stepper motor, a chain drive, a spring mechanism, and a throwing arm, and of course a skull. Uh, let's take a closer look. I'll show you what I did with it. The center side is simply that, an ESP32 and a big red button. Once contact is closed there, it sends the signal over to the robot. On the back of the robot here is the receiving ESP32. That goes to our pro driver, stepper motor driver, and if you read the initial blog, I talked about using the 68 ounce inch stepper motor that turned out not to have enough power, so I had to bump up to the 125. And this works perfectly. We've got a simple spring mechanism, much like you would find in a single arm baseball pitching machine. That's pretty much all there is to it. A few 3D printed parts, some actobotics I had lying around, and there it is. Now, my vision for Halloween is this. I'll be sitting on my porch next to zombie baseball pitcher here. Now, a kid will come up my front sidewalk, stand on the big red X, of course, if he's ever seen a Wile E. Coyote cartoon, they'll know better, but chances are they won't. So, stand on the red X, hit the button, at which point, zombie baseball pitcher springs into action. The arm moves around, picks up the candy bar, and throws it with amazing accuracy and consistency right to the kid. Here, I'll show you. Now, because the spring tension and the speed of the mechanism are consistent, the flight path of the candy bar should be also, as long as they're all the same weight. I'm using Milky Ways and Three Musketeers bars, which are only about two grams different. So the flight path should all come right about here. Let's find out, shall we? Oh yeah. Okay, so as you can see, because candy bars don't all sit exactly in the same spot in their wrappers, there seem to be a couple of misfires. But I think that just adds to it. It's trick or treat, right? Treat, you get candy, trick, oh well. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Um, so there's still a little bit of more work I have to do on it before Halloween. I have to finish the hopper. I didn't quite have time to finish that. I want to be able to put all the candy bars in here. I've got this feeder hooked up to a servo, so it should just tilt back, grab a candy bar, move forward, and the arm will throw it. Ideally. But that should be it. Uh, next incarnation, probably next year, I've got a couple of ideas. I may put it on a turntable and give the kids two options, two buttons and depending on which button they push, the zombie will aim in that direction and throw the candy bar. Because we're using ESP now for this, I could also have one button for the kid to hit, or multiple buttons for the kids to hit, linked to one ESP32 going out to multiple throwing zombies, because with ESP now you can do that. That might be really cool too. Anyway, that's next year's problem. Let me finish this year first. Hope you're doing something cool for Halloween, and if you are, definitely let us know about it. Until then, happy haunting and happy hacking. I better tr only try it on camera. Cause if it happens, it's only happening once. Ah, oh, fail. As if, as if I were reading, as if I wrote something for this. Whoa, that was a fast one. <laughs> Son of a... Ah, oh, so close. <laughs>